Hey guys, Sam from 3D here. In this short tutorial, I would like to show you what you can do with the Hands Premium Library. You can change uh, the mockups, you can change the colors, you can change the materials, you can change the pose of the hand, and so on. So, first of all, I need to mention how you can navigate in the Blender file. I open the Blender file, and now if I click on the Shift, then I click on the mouse wheel, I can pen. If I click only on the mouse wheel, I'm rotating. And if I zoom in, I'm getting closer, zoom out with everything with the mouse wheel. So let's take a look. I can take a look on the model from different perspectives, from different shading. For, for example, I have viewport shading, I have then uh, wireframe viewport shading, and for example here we have the material preview and here this one is most complex it's basically trying to render and to show you how the final product will look like and how the light will look like if i click zero on the numpad i'm getting how my render will look like because i'm in the camera now so if i'm in the camera i click on the here or maybe here i can click on the g or just the move but the G is a shortcut I will click G and you can click on the Y X Z axis so if I click G X I'm moving in the X axis if I click G, G Y I'm using different axis and G Z I'm on the Z axis so this is how I can navigate and this is I'm changing basically the render because I'm in the in the camera Okay now, I would like to show you how you can change the sleep because we did the changes in the last minute and I think it's pretty cool what you can do here. So you just need to click on the sleeve, you need to go here in this object data properties and on the top you see the name. So for example I want to change it to the short right, so this is short right or if I want to use left let's say I want to jump left and here is left right left right left right left, left right and now also I have two hands so I can like have different colors of the hand for example here it can be pretty handy for example with this one right so you can have you can change this is the left hand so go to the color jumper, right, and here, sweet. so I will change it to jumper right. Okay, this is how, it is how easy it is, and now I can change it, right, cool, and it's affecting everything. This is what I wanted to mention, and we can continue in the tutorial. Uh, let's take a look how I can change, for example, the color of the of the sleeve i need to be in object mode i need to click on the uh, what i want to change so for example this object so it's the sleeve basic and now this is how easy it is as you can see on the right i'm changing it also here so what you can do is you can basically change it here and it will change for different hand so now i have two colors the same as it here okay so i changed the color of the sleeves the same the color of the hand Let's say on this combination. Okay, let's take a look on different sleeve. Is color jumper. This is cool one. And let's take a look that I want to change the colors of the sleeve. So as you can see, here is getting from the light blue to the pink one. So if I want to change the pink one, I need to oh yeah, I need to click on that and now I, I can change it. So here I'm changing the right okay if I want to change on the the same thing right okay but if I want to change for example the red one and I want to have the I want to have it uh, as a blue I can do it I can do it for any color here so let's take a look on this so now I'm basically changing the sleeve and you can do 
some funny colors here. Right, so you can play. Or you can just go here and copy paste in the hex. And you need to just copy and paste and it will be the same color. As it is on the top. So this is how you can change the sleeves on the stripes. Let's take a look on the short for example, because this is pretty cool. I am again in the object mode in this window. I click on the short sleeve. Now I need to go to the edit mode. I have pre-selected this area. If I click G and Y, sorry Z, if I click G and Z, I'm changing the length of the, of the sleeve. So you can see here, let's take a look again on the left, G, Z, whoop, this is how it is, it, it is. You can do it on all sleeves here, every sleeve is working the same way. Okay, so this is the, the basic thing what you can do. Uh, here, for example, you have different assets, so for example, I want to change your cool design here so I will go I will I clicked what I did I clicked on the again on the object I have the images here in the base color I don't have the color but I have the image I need to click on this uh, folder and now let's I want to try this one okay and now I have my own design inside one thing what is important to mention is that it's better to have bigger contrast there because we have the lights in 3D and uh, it's uh, if you you use only light colors it can be um, can be vanished pretty easily. So use just uh, more contrast, like bigger contrast, and it will look pretty cool. Okay, so this is how I changed it, and now uh, this is the, basically the same thing what I can do with any asset, the same thing. I clicked on the asset, or I can click here, I can click on the on the iPad and I can change it. Okay, the same thing for the for the watches. Cool, okay. Now we, we take took a look on the camera and how I can change it. So, for example, I can go closer and can go closer to the, uh, to the object so I'm basically what I'm doing I'm just clicking G and I can go closer so this is how it can look it can be pretty cool because you can do whatever you want in case you want to rotate the hand be sure that you have clicked this little thing the record because and you have to click on this thing also so now I clicked on the the record and I'm recording the, the position of the hand. I click on the air and I can rotate but because now it's just rotating the hand I need to select all. Now as you can see I'm also selecting the light this is the, I don't want to so I'm just here I'm just locking it. Now again selecting uh, I, I'm using the select box tool if you want different type of selections for example circle you can change it here so now I'm just selecting box and again what I do I can I press the R and now I can change it so this is how it is it, it is if I go to render render image I'm getting the render of the image it doesn't have to be real color of the hand it can be uh, Pur purple blue or green doesn't matter okay now so what if I want to change for example the lights it's super easy because uh, I locked so I need to unlock them if I click on the zero I'm getting to the uh, to the mode of the of the camera and now if I zoom out you can see that I have two lights here 
What you can do, you can pretty easily change the color, you can ch change the power and now for example I, need, I want to have blue and let's say I want to have orange. So this is specifically for the film, this is how it looks like, it's like cyberpunk and this is what I have if I go to the camera, again G, Z, G, Y. Voila, this is what I have. If I click render, I get the image. Okay, that's it. It's like it looks like cyberpunk. So this is how it is it, it is to change it. And now I will show you how you can change the pose of the hand. So I clicked on the rig here. I'm getting to the pose mode and now I click on the part I want to change. And voila, I'm just changing. You need to be careful with this because it can like it can do many weird things so you just need to little practice but you can do pretty cool stuff voila that's it cool one thing which i almost forget is that also we added two rings here feel free to reuse it it's uh, one is for men, one is for female. Feel free to play with it and so on. Another thing which I wanted to mention is that one thing which I wanted to mention is that I created a Figma file and you can just copy paste your design here and you can easily change it into the blender as I showed before. Thank you so much for your attention. If you want to see more about Hans Premium Library, take a look at hands.design. If you want to see more of our libraries and more cool stuff, even more advanced, take a look at 3D.design. And if you have any questions, please reach out to me at samuel at 3D.design. Have a great day and stay creative. Bye.